Fluorescence Light Source Light Source Hyper Switch Turn on Xenon Arc Lamp and warm up for 10 minutes. Green LED flashes when attempting to fire lamp. LED stays lit when lamp is lit. Lamp should be replaced after 400 hours. 65 watts is optimal power. Turn on hyper switch. For other light sources, U step. Turn on xenon arc lamp and warm up for 10 minutes. Turn on U step. LED. The LED doesn't require warm-up. It is ready immediately. FSI Myopacer and Camera Myocam S3 is powered directly through computer USB 3 connection. Microscope and Cell Framing Adapter, CFA. Turn on Illumination. Confirm red filter is present. Select Correct Scope Cube, 400 dichroic long pass for Fura 2. For multi-fluorescent systems, choose appropriate cell framing adapter lid. If necessary, change lid by removing red thumb screws. Confirm orientation of cell framing adapter lid. Silver pins line up whole with CFA. Place cell. Open hinged top lid by rotating clasps 90 degrees. Place cover slip in well. Confirm cover slip fits into well properly, otherwise cover slip will crack when closing lid. Place low density cells in chamber. Connect chamber to myopacer and temperature controller. Turn on perfusion and start temperature control. Make sure preheater is close to chamber inlet to minimize heat loss. Field stimulation. Customize myopacer settings. Myopacer uses dual encoder knob to choose fields, rotate, and select, click.
4 milliseconds is typical. For polarity, BioPacer can be triggered by external signal generator through trig in on front panel and by choosing external TTL, not typical. BioPacer provides five saved slots for frequency. Icon X represents selected. Click to adjust. Adjust frequency digit by digit. Click select to input adjusted frequency. Use saved slots to quickly switch frequencies. Adjust voltage so that 50 to 70 percent of cells in field of view are contracting field capture threshold. Then increase by 10 percent over threshold for stable stimulation. For chamber shown previously, 5 volts is typical. For 35 millimeter dish, 12 volts is typical. Click Go Stop to start stimulation. LED will blink at selected frequency. Voltage and frequency can be adjusted in real time. Click Go Stop again to stop stimulation. Data Collection, Sarcomere Shortening, and Calcium. Launch Ion Wizard after hardware devices are turned on. Click File New to start new acquisition. Click Collect Experiment to choose Saved Experiment or Create New One. Click Edit to review or adjust experimental parameters. For example, change recording time. For sarcomere shortening, choose average FFTs of each line if computer can handle processing load. For demonstration, data will be collected during cell finding. In real experiments, click Start after the cell is positioned in frame. Fluorescence increases when fear-loaded cell appears in view. Rotate cell framing adapter handle to lay cell in horizontal orientation. To measure calcium, frame target cell using cell framing adapter aperture. Framing cell blocks signal from neighboring cells and debris. To frame cell, turn knobs to enlarge or reduce aperture. Slide sticks to move aperture horizontally or vertically. Fluorescence decreases as aperture closes, reducing background and blocking neighboring cells and debris. Click Start when cell is positioned and framed. Confirm both numerator and denominator are in PMT's linear range, less than 6,000 counts on Y axis. Typically, only ratio rather than numerator and denominator is monitored during acquisition.
select Sarcomere to measure contractility. Adjust region of interest to get clear fast Fourier transform peak red line. Adjust cutoff threshold to eliminate low frequency noise. Adjust scale automatically or manually. For manual limits, traces edit user limits. For automatic limits, click Traces Automatic Limits, Hotkey Alt A A. Note, traces and user limits can be saved under Templates, Save Screen Template. Collect background for quantitative calcium measurement. Select numerator and denominator traces. Move field of view without changing aperture frame to empty area to collect background. Left click and drag to average background counts over selected time range greater than one second. Note average numerator and denominator counts. Click operations constants and input values. PMT counts for background go to zero, so ratio recorded during background should be ignored. Background constant is proportional to frame size. Collect unique background for every cell since each uses different aperture sizes. Data collection, edge detection. Place detection threshold at steepest contrast change at cell boundaries to track movement. In this example, left edge of cell is brighter than surrounding region. Choose peak above or above. Right edge is darker than surrounding region, barely. Choose peak below or below. For more information, please read manual linked in description below.